Here's a quick little video on a clock that I'm restoring. I originally uh, really pretty much finished it off using um, slate black or whatever you call it. And the finish came out looking a little bit plasticky and I wasn't happy with it. And um, I've just now, I'm basically I've stripped it and started doing it a different way and I'll show you what I'm doing and it's getting a much, much nicer result. All right, here's the top of it. Uh, you can see here I've started stripping off the the old finish. Probably on the camera this looks really good, but it believe me, it does look like a plastic finish, which is not what I want for a, a marble uh, clock at the end of the day. So all I'm doing right now, just to strip off the old, that slate black and stuff, I'm using one of these sponge pads. Uh, no, it's a medium grip, just rubbing it all off, and it comes off pretty easily. You're getting it right back to the slate itself, <coughs> leaves a dull finish to begin with. What I'm doing is Wipe it off. Use a heat gun, and that'll show me where I've missed. I'll go back to that again. Pretty easy to do. Let's see a few bits there in the light. I try as much as I can to keep the grain going in one direction. I think that will give it a better finish in the long run. Anyway. So if I do go in the opposite direction to begin with, I finish it off by stroking it in the same way so that let's say get a uniform grain on it that way I see that's looking straight away really drier and you can see close up on that a little bit all right so you can see there I'm getting a um, nice flat finish uh, moving on from there I'll go on to a 600 grit um, wet or dry just cut off like a little piece there and just to get a slightly finer finish Doesn't need much. And in fact, I think after this, I'm going to go to possibly 800 or 1,000, depending on what I've got in the jaw. I can see from here that's already becoming a nicer finish. Um, all right, the next one I'm going to use will be the 1200 because that's what I've got on my bench in front of me. I don't I use small pieces anyway. This is a much finer cut, but it is cutting so I can see it's going milky as I'm doing it. The, the smoother the surface, the better finish you get at the end. So that's safe, I ain't got to go too mad with it.
It's actually got a funny smell in this cup. This, uh, I think it's Belgian marble. Right, that a wipe off. A dry off. See that's much smoother already. As I say, I'm just doing this bit here just just to show you what I'm how I'm achieving my results. So the next thing I'm going to use is uh, shoe polish and just an old rag. Bunch it up a little bit and just spread it on. Try it. I'm still experimenting with all of this at the moment, but I'm trying not found that it's best not to get it on too heavy, really, and it's better to build up at sort of thin layers. Although, if you do put it on heavy, the next stage I'll show you will. Show you how to get away with it and try and get into all like the little cracks and things as well. Right, so once I've done that, then I use my heat gun again. Basically what I'm doing is, I'm heating up the wax until it begins to shine. And I don't know if you can see that. If, yeah, there you go. Once I've got it to shine, and I know it's melted, I think that helps it penetrate into the, into the marble itself. Because I did try it without heating it up and just pretty much was wiping off whatever I was putting on but with this method it seems to soak in a little bit into the marble. Um, I'll give that like a couple of minutes or so to sort of go off a little bit and uh, and then polish it come back to that it's actually been about a minute not that long just long enough for the wax to go dull again I'm just using a bit of paper towel again I've tried cloth and other things but paper towel seems to work out really well and I'll begin like the polishing process so when you're polishing it you can see areas where too much wax has gone on it's really not even shining it um, so what I do in these cases are see, you're not really seeing the full picture there but um, what I'll do there is where I see that perhaps the wax is a bit too heavy I reheat it soften the wax a little bit again and then go over it with a paper cloth and I can see that's taking off all the heavy bits now that's started looking better and now what I'll do again is give it another light coating it's actually a bit easier the second time round because the marble's now warm and the wax is spreading slightly better. Should spend a bit more time in some of these little cracks, but just for the purpose of this video, just to show you how I get the 
finish. Um, let me see if I can just go straight over that. That's a polish. That's it. Yeah, it's coming up nicely. I don't know what's going on on that radio, but that's not what I was listening to when I first came out here. Anyway, that's um, it's hard to tell with a camera, but I can tell you it's like a really nice satin finish, which is what you want for this black marble. You don't want it over glossy because it, as I say, it does give it that sort of plastic fake look. It's got just a just a nice satin sheen. Um, would I go over this bit again? Perhaps. The other good thing about this method that I found is where you get bleaching on the black marble, which is quite common with these old clocks. I forget it's like 120, 140 odd years old. Um, you can go over it with a boot polish and the heat two or three times and it actually absorbs into the the bleaching of the marble and turns it black again now this is the best method I've found so far probably not perfect and if anyone else has got any better ways of doing this please let me know in the comments below and just a close-up of the finished boot polished version versus the slate black which, uh, as I say, it looks a bit tacky, really. Whereas that just looks smart. My uh, quick tutorial on how to polish marble. As I say, if anyone's got any better ways of doing it, do let me know. I am interested. I just made this way up by myself. I knew boot polish was meant to be good, but it didn't work great for me until I decided to melt it onto the marble. The next thing I've got to do is... Um, fill in the engravings and that's something which I'm really not good at I've done it a couple of times before again I'm looking for a good way to to do that and if... uh, this is the sort of thing I'm talking about here I've tried it with um, fine paint brushes tried it with toothpicks it's never neat uh, if if I had my way I'd sort of blob it on and just sort of wipe off the excess but they're not the engravings aren't deep enough for me to do that and um, well when I did do it before it was smearing onto the black and not coming off I've tried water paint or a acrylic based paint and I've also tried a an enamel as well and still I yet to find a way I'm really happy with so as I say if anyone's got any clues on how to do this in a nice and neat way do leave me a comment below